determine both the square roots of 5 plus 12i in a plus bi form. Now this is a complex number. If you have a real number, so let us start with real numbers. Suppose, uh, say, x squared is equal to 25. Uh, you should be knowing that x is equal to plus or minus 5. Okay, so in real numbers, you have two roots. Or uh, when you square root both sides, you get two roots. Okay, same in complex number. If this is a complex number, the square root should have two answers. So basically what is given is, uh, you want to find z is equal to z is given to be 5 plus 12i uh, and you want to find square root of z this is your question okay so now to solve this or to find square root of z we need to use the Dimboise theorem and to use the Dimboise theorem we need to write this in polar form okay so let's write this in polar form so let me draw the two axes are uh, not drawn to scale, so this is your z-axis, this is your x-axis, okay. So this is, this is your, uh, this is your ima uh, real arm, and this is your imaginary arm. So this is your x-axis, and this is your z-axis, okay. So phi, so let's say phi is here okay and 12r is somewhere here so complex number can be expressed as a vector so this is a complex number mm. so let me show an area here. so this is your complex number which is 5 plus 12i so this is your complex number this is 5 plus 12i so your complex number has got two parts one is the real part and the other is the imaginary part so let us draw a right angle triangle so if i join this so uh, let me draw a straight line so so um, so let us take this this is the real arm i'm oh, sorry this is Okay, hopefully you understand this. So yeah, this is the real arm and this is the imaginary arm or this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. So I can say this this is 5 and this is 12. Okay, so we want to find, in polar form, we need to find the modulus of R, that means this distance, which is called absolute value. And we want also find to find, we also need to find theta. So R is, you can use Pythagoras, is square root of 5 squared plus 12 squared, which is uh, 25 plus 144, which is 169, so which is 13. Okay, 25 plus 12, so the, which is 13. Or you can say modulus of R is 13. Now, theta you can find by using tan. So tan theta is opposite over adjacent, which is 12 over 5. So your theta is tan inverse of 12 divided by 5. So that is tan inverse. This is equal to tan inverse of I don't like my pen working like this, minus 1, 10 inverse of 12 divided by 5. So I need a calculator to figure the exact value. So this is my calculator. Menu, run. I like to work in degrees. So first I'll change this into degrees. And uh, I'll go shift 10 bracket 12 divided by 15. I want the exact value, which is... 67.3801 okay so um, so I'll I want the exact value so I'll write 67.3801 and I'll save this as a so memory uh, I'm saving this as a letter alpha a so this calculator remembers this 
number as a okay so i'm going to name this theta as a so i can say theta is equal to 67 point something which is i've saved that as a okay so this uh, z i can write z now as is equal to uh, 13 cis a okay where theta is a i want to find square root so i have to take so square root of z is same as z to the power half so if i'm taking i'm raising this side by half i'd also raise this side by half so this is 13 cis a raised to half so i have raised both sides by half so now we, now you have to use the dimbov's theorem which says if it's r cis theta to the power n then you can write r to the power n cis n theta okay so using that theorem i can say z to the power half is equal to 13 raised to half times cis a by a over 2 okay so your z1 is square root of 13 cis a by 2 just like that i've written the exact value because i want to check my answer now for complex roots there's a geometry of complex complex roots if there are two roots the, ang the angle between the roots would be 180 okay so here if this is this means your first root or square root of uh, this number one root if it is is the distance the radial distance the radial distance is square root of 13 and it's an angle of a by 2 so your second root should be should have the same radial distance that is square root of 13 i'll explain this in a diagrammatic way says a by 2 plus 180 because you're dividing 360 by 2 so if you want to express this in a diagram so let me show this suppose this is only a sketch so square root of 13 is about uh, square root of 16 is 4 so square root of 13 and square root of 9 is 3 so it is the distance is the radial distance is 3 and this is we know is a was 67 so this is about 33 so one root z1 has a distance of about 3 so i'll show it like this this is about 3 yeah suppose this is a distance of 3 so i'll say this is 1 2 3 the, the distance is 3 and this has an angle of 33 degrees roughly okay so the other angle would be 33 plus 180 which is 213 so which is which would be just opposite to this so it will be this angle okay, the same distance so this is in a diagrammatic way so this is let me slightly make this bigger okay so this the other other route is so this is your origins they go one two three and this angle is 213 degrees now why did i write like this okay so my to check my answer if i square this this implies z1 squared should give me phi plus 12i and this also implies z2 squared should give me phi plus 12i so if this is a square root squaring that number should give me the original number so let me let us get the calculator so uh, let us first okay we had to change this into a plus bi form so let us change this into a plus bi form first so z1 is uh, square root of 13 
square root of 13 cis a by 2. So I'm going to use my calculator to figure this out. Of course, if you want, if you uh, if you're not allowed to use a calculator, you can do like this. This is square root of 13 times cis is cos a by 2, which whatever that angle is, plus i sine a by 2. So this is about 33 degrees. Okay, so let us use my calculator to figure this out. So if you go to uh, run menu and if you go to option, if you go to complex number, mm, no, if you have to go to F6 angle, I want to change this into rectangular form. Okay, so rectangular form, my radial, the radial distance, the radial distance R is square root of 13, so shift square root of 13, comma, a by 2. So I'll so alpha a by 2 will give me this number. This will change this into, uh, okay, into rectangular form. This is in polar form. I want to change this into rectangular form, which is 3 plus 2i. Uh, so let me check. Alpha a equal a by 2. Yeah, so it is 3 plus 2i. Okay, so rectangular form, shift square root of 13, comma, alpha a by 2. So what's the number? That is 3 plus 2i. So this z1, z1 is 3 plus 2i. Okay. So this Z2, logically you should understand, would be minus 3 minus 2i. Okay, so let's confirm that. So your Z2 would be square root of 13, and this is your uh, angle. So let us change that. So exit, uh, rectangular form, shift, uh, square root, oops, rectangular form of shift square root of 13 comma uh, alpha a divided by 2 plus 180 so let's see what's the answer minus 3 minus 2i so these are the two answers so can you see if this is 3 plus 2i this would be minus 3 minus 2i so let us confirm this implies z1 squared would be 3 plus 2i the whole squared and that should give me 15 5 plus 12i isn't it 5 plus 12i so let us do that 5 plus 12i so again get the calculator out go to option uh, let us exit out of this option complex number and then you go 3 plus 2i squared which is 5 plus 12i and so we have confirmed our answer and if you go to, uh, minus 3 minus 2i the whole squared that will also give you 5 plus 12i so we our answer is right so this answer z1 and z2 are right because if you square them you're getting back the original number